PBS Utah presents free speech messages, offering ballot qualified candidates in select races the opportunity to speak to Utah voters. Hi, I'm Greg Scordis, Democratic candidate for Utah Attorney General. I've lived in Utah all of my life. I studied and received degrees in both engineering and law at the University of Utah. I raised three highly successful children here too, an Air Force medical doctor, an educator, and an environmental scientist. I worked for eight years at the Salt Lake County Attorney's Office, rising to the position of first assistant Salt Lake County Attorney. In 1992, I was Utah's first gang prosecutor and was recognized and awarded by the Salt Lake Area Gang Project. I was involved in proposing legislation to combat the gang issue and put Utah on the national forefront of innovative gang interdiction. We work with the legislature to eventually create the Serious Youth Offender Act, which allows prosecutors to bring serious, consequential charges against gang offenders. I spent several years as head of the Special Victims Unit, prosecuting sex crimes and crimes against children. Again, we work with the legislature to promote victims' rights. In 1995, I left the county attorney's office and started my own law practice, which later became known as Scordis, Caston and Hyde. That same year, I was part of a group of three lawyers who studied and brought the drug court concept to Utah. Thanks to those efforts, Utah started its first drug court in Salt Lake County. Drug court allows nonviolent offenders the opportunity to work off their crimes by demonstrating a sustained commitment to sobriety. Utah courts have graduated thousands of drug court participants since then, and drug courts are now operating in virtually every county in the state. 20 years ago, I started a nonprofit designed to provide aftercare and support to drug court participants, graduates, and their families. My nonprofit helps over 500 Utahns every year. Our county and our state have always operated better when there is a fair and reasonable balance of power. We've seen several ballot initiatives in the past few years which demonstrate that I am not alone in this belief. In all three instances, our state leaders have had no check on accountability. In fact, in one instance, Utah has joined a lawsuit which, if successful, will strip health care from 102,000 Utahns. We need an attorney general who will work to protect health care during a global pandemic, not take it away. We need an attorney general who will stand up to the federal government in its attempts to open up oil and gas drilling in our national parks. We need an attorney general who will work to protect consumers and prevent the fraud that has plagued our state for too long. That's why I'm determined to serve as Utah's next attorney general, to defend your rights and support your values. I'm asking for your vote on November 3rd.